birthday message from Taushobita. On a day like this, when the entire world, I mean the world of your people, people who follow you, people who love you, who cherish your message, with them you are celebrating your birthday. You have to introspect. What really are you going to celebrate? Whose birthday are you going to celebrate? To whom are you going to give the birthday wishes? Are you celebrating the birthday of the body? Or you are celebrating the birthday of something else that has manifested within the body? Body is perishable. It has come into existence one day and it will perish one day. One day the body was not there, then it came into existence and one day again the body will not be there. Are we going to celebrate the birthday of that which is short lived, that which is ephemeral, that which is perishable, or you are going to celebrate the birth of that which is eternal? Neither you can celebrate the birth of that which is final, which is short lived nor you can celebrate the birth of that which is eternal, that which is never born, never dies. How can you celebrate the birth? Still we do celebrate. The unconscious celebrate the birth, not knowing if they are celebrating the birth of the body. Definitely they are celebrating the birth of the body, that is body and mind because they have not experienced anything beyond that. But a Buddha does not celebrate the birth of the body. He celebrates the manifestation of that which is eternal. The experience of that which is eternal, the formless, the wordless, that is beyond time and space. The moment he experiences that which is beyond time and then. These are not two words because the Hindi word for death is Kal and Hindi word for time is also Kal. Kal means time and also death. That which is time is death. That which is beyond death, that which is beyond time is also beyond death as well because the timelessness and deathlessness are not two different words, however they are two different words to mean the same thing, the eternal, the unmanifest. Then your life becomes a manifestation of that which is unborn, unmanifest. When it comes to manifest to the finite unit of body and mind then, then we celebrate the manifestation. In Sikh religion, it is very relevant that we have the two slogans, Bole So Nihal and Sat Shri Akal. These were the two words, two slogans in fact, given by the 10th Guru Govind Singh and Bole So Nihal is Sikh Bole Surnihal, it comes with three words. Bole, Bole means utters. So means whosoever. Bole so Nihal, Nihal means attains to blissfulness, attains to contentment, attains to immortality. One who utters this word means contented, fully blissful. Bole so Nihal Sat Sri Akal is called Sikh Jaikara according to the Sikh religion. Literally it is a shout of the victory. Victory that the unmanifest, the unborn and formless is now attained. Victory over the, the form, the short life. It is divided into two parts or phrases. The first, Bole Su Nihal, it is a statement. 
meaning whosoever utters the phrase following shall be happy, fulfilled, contented and blissful. And the second part, Sat Shri Akal, it comes from three words. Sat means truth, that which is beyond words, that which is Tav, that which is Omkar, that which existed beyond in the beginning of the creation, that continues and that which will exist when the creation comes to an end and there is dissolution. And Shri is a word for honor and Akal means that which is beyond time and space. Anything which is beyond time is beyond space and the word for that which has attained to timelessness and deathlessness is it. The unborn, the unmanifest, beyond death, the deathless, unborn, unmanifest that pervades the entire cosmos. Only the timeless is true. Everything else is false. Timeless is deathless too. And unless you have attained to the timeless or deathless, you have been just collecting pebbles and seashells on the seashore. You have been playing with toys and you have been childish. Meditation is the door to timelessness. Meditation is the way to experience the timelessness, to experience that which remains unborn and unmanifest. Meditation is the bridge through which you establish a connection between the inner and outer the form and formless, the manifest and unmanifest. Through meditation, the unmanifest manifests itself. Through the fruition of meditation, inner beauty assumes the form of words. The inner beauty becomes the words. Inner beauty becomes the expression. Inner beauty becomes the gestures, inner beauty becomes the message, message of the Buddhas, message of the Masters. Meditation is the door to timelessness. When thinking stops and there is no thought moving on the screen of your mind, suddenly the timelessness, the Akal, that which is never born, never dies, is the you experience it. And when you experience your whole life changes, the flower has blossomed, its beauty and fragrance manifests. Only this can be the message that just as I have blossomed, you too one day will attain to that blossom. Then you too can experience the formless, you too can become your awareness, your awareness then will become the bridge between the formless and the form. Then you can really celebrate whatever you may call it. Because with the disappearance of thought, time to disappears and then there is timelessness. Time cannot exist without thought. It needs, it needs thoughts to be there. Once the screen is empty and your mind projector is not working, even for a single moment you have entered into the interval, the pause between two notes, the silence, the absolute silence, and then you have the first glimpse of your being, you have the first glimpse of the formless, you have the first glimpse of Omkar or Tau, which is the pulse of the cosmos, the primordial sun. You need not repeat it, you just attain to that state when the sound echoes into your being like the dissolving notes of a sweet melody. This is the only message, the message 
that comes from the Buddha, message that comes from the one who has experienced the innerness, who has experienced the formless. Let this be the message of Tao Buddha to all those who have sent their wishes and love in many forms. Thank you for your messages. Love is the only frequency. Beauty is the only form that is the manifestation from Tao Shabita. Once again, through this message, I create an insatiable quest in you to let your meditation be the bridge between the formless and the form, the eternal, the inner and outer, so that inner, the eternal manifests. Only this much of this message.